Hello, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for what? For love. Yes, we're listening for love. So how are you, Aries? Hopefully super fun, fabulous. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and giving me a chance. I truly appreciate you. If you like it here, stick around, hit that like, that share, and maybe even subscribe. Because if you like tarot, you like to have a good time, you like to laugh, baby, this is the place to be, all right? Now. If you really like it, you can come on over to Instagram on Tuesdays, 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time, and come hang out with me for happy hour. We do live readings. All right? So, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What? Ow! So, the way these reads are going to go, we're going to go general, like just general guidance. Then we're gonna go singles, couples, and all signs from Aries to Pisces, okay? So, September 1st, Uranus turns retrograde 27 degrees Taurus, and it's gonna be there until the 30th of 2025. This is a lot of tension with wanting change. We want change, we want it now, and we're gonna do whatever we gotta do to get there, okay? Now, Pluto retrograde is also going back into Capricorn. It's going to be there until October 11th, which, look, you got Uranus, this big old planet just wrecking shop, right? And Pluto's this little powerful thing that will make you do things you didn't even think you could do, all right? And there's going to be a lot of revelations this month, a lot of things coming to the forefront, not only this energy, but we also have eclipse season coming up. So on the second, we had the new moon in Virgo at 11 degrees. And this is about you really focusing on your personal goals. And for you, you're very focused on your life purpose right now. You're like, okay, what am I supposed to do? Where am I going to be? What's going on? How am I grounded and rooted? Family is very important to you right now. And you're looking at what your legacy is going to be. Now, on the 4th, Mars enters into Cancer. Mars is like your ruler, and so like imagine you having to do with emotions. <laughs> no, so this is going to be like maybe we have to make a lot of emotional decisions. We might be a little bit in our feelings right now. We feel like things aren't working as fast as they should be, okay, because we're going through a watery energy. On the ninth, Mercury enters into Virgo. Baby, talk about it, be about it. We are putting it all out there, all right? And on the on the 17th, we're kicking off the full moon, a lunar eclipse in Pisces, 25 degrees. This is the partial lunar eclipse, so it's not like, you know, all the way there, but it's a, it's a sneak peek of what's to come, all right, with this Pisces and Virgo transit. And you are very much focused on your family, your legacy. Who are you? What are you doing? What is your role in this world? All right. You're very focused on that. So be patient with yourself. Then on the 22nd, it's Libra season. Call up that sexy Libra. Take them out for a drink. Have a good time. Let's celebrate their birthday. And just to let you know, Venus will be entering into Scorpio. So that's going to be a pretty intense energy also. All right. So with that, with that being said, let's see what we got going on. I want you to think about your question, like a yes or no question in your mind's eye. Okay, aquí en la cabeza. We're going to think of something, yes or no. Let's see what the vibe is. Overall energy is the Eight of Pentacles. Whatever it is, Aries, right now, it takes a lot of work for you. You're working really hard. You're developing and you're growing. So think about question number one and then question number two. For question number one, it's a damn dirty yes. Hell yes. It's transformation. We're making it happen. We're moving. We're grooving. And we're getting to the next level with transformation with death. Now... I do feel like there's a lot of Scorpio energy, and I'll get to that in a minute. If you are if you have a lot of Scorpio in your chart, I feel like it's going to be really activated this month, okay? That means there's going to be a lot of changes coming in for you, all right? Now, for question number two, it's a yes, stand on business. It's the Nine of Pentacles, because I'll do it my way, all right? This is standing firmly. This is standing in your blessings and receiving everything that is owed to you. All right, let's move into this oracle read. Your animal energy is that of the hedgehog. How cute is that? Oh, baby. Be a magnet for light, love, and joy. Working with Archangel Gabriel. This is the energy of psychic intuition. Your dreams may be lit. You are on fire. You might even be thinking about going back to school. Your dreams are just totally amazing. And the thing about a hedgehog I don't know if you've ever held one in your hand. It's like, I was really scared like those little things were gonna poke me. It's kind of like you, like you can be a little scary at first, but then when you really get to know an Aries, they're like the sweetest thing in the world. I don't know, past all the, you know, all the drama and stuff, you know? It's a little fiery energy. I'm a Leo, we're just, we, we kinda the same, kinda, okay, kinda. Now, your astrological energy is that of Scorpio. 
Scorpio rules the eighth house, and the eighth house is about death, rebirth, transformation, other people's money, your partner's money, psychological issues, investments, taxes, and the occult, right? And so all this energy is coming towards you, and there's just a lot going on for you. And this is a month of a lot of decisions, okay? Major decisions. Major decisions that are going to be important in the winter, okay? In the winter. Winter is going to be important. Now... In love, we have this of the Six of Scrolls, and it's like you're kind of waiting on your blessing to come through, and the Sixth House also rules like your day-to-day -day activities. It's like maybe the day-to-day -day activities have changed a little bit for you over the years, and you're kind of moving in a different direction, but it takes time, and it's like you just want it all to change t -t 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 today, Junior, and it's not, okay? So a little take it easy, my friend. Now, you got the Five of Forces, but it is revor re reversed, and I do think that something happened over the summer, because it's summer, winter, that has like caused you to kind of think, I have to make some major changes this winter. There's going to be huge changes. I can't talk today. Muchos apologies, okay? I want to say like 50 words in like one second. Um, there's a lot of decisions that you're going to be making in the winter when it comes to your love life. And I want to say in your day-to-day -day activities, I would pay a lot of attention to your sixth and your eighth house, all right? Now... Important days so far, the 5th, the 6th, the 8th, and the 11th. So let's get into this uh, love read, okay? Let's get into it. Let's have some fun. Let's enjoy ourselves. Remember, this is a general tarot read. If you would like to book a reading, you can click on my link tree. Come on over to Instagram. Check on it. See what you like. Get up in there. Get a DM read. Get whatever you like, baby. And join me on Tuesdays, guys. All right. First message. Manifest the best. Second message, oh, Usher is in the house. We got a confession. Someone got something to tell you, and it's a yes, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Also, health could be on the forefront for you. Make sure you are taking care of yourself, okay? Don't be trying to do stuff that's going to put you in a bad situation, all right? Now, a little bit more clarity for my general reading. Let's see. This is a general in love. What do we need to know? You're manifesting something, but you have like this poker face about this decision and you're not showing what's going on. And the confession is from someone who you felt was always running away from you. Maybe they're just not showing you how much they really like you until you're not there. And then they're like, oh my God, I'm in love with you. And then they catch you and then they're like, I'm not anymore. It's like, damn it, dude, what's wrong? And yes, you're going to find that unconditional love, the fairness and love and the affection will become returned. And if you're in the talking phase of a relationship, Dang it, this is the best thing that you could be doing right now. Get to know them, enjoy the energy, and have a great time. So let's see what the general message is for you. We're going to be using the gafitos today. If cats ruled the world. Meow. Let's see. What do we got here? Meow. What does Aries need to know this month? First message is the five of swords. It's been hard, it's been rough, and it hasn't been a good ride. But we got your eye on it, all right? This is also about you withstanding the storm. You know that it's going to improve. You know that it's going to get better. We have the king of swords showing up. So this is like a decisive energy. You are definitely standing on business. You're like, look, I done pulled this sword out, this damn dirty rock, and nobody could pull it out but me. You better show me what you're working with, all right? Justice will be served. This is also a message for those who have a court case because of the King of Swords right by the justice. This makes me think like maybe you are going to win in a litigation. You are going to, the, the scales are going to be balanced. The Hermit. All right, you're just you're just kind of taking it easy. You're like, look, I'm going to sit back and watch it all happen. Go ahead and pop that popcorn, baby, because it's going to be a show. All right, and then the moon. This is a major energy coming here, and there could be a possible move. Somebody could be thinking about moving, moving on, moving up, moving out, baby. And then we have the chariot. This is going to be a major, a major, major month for you. You have one, two, three, four, five, six majors out of a seven card read, okay? Because you start off with this holy hell, like I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I don't know, I can barely see what's going on. And the king of swords says, no, don't even worry about it, baby, I got you. <laughs> just just stay, stay quiet, friend, because we about to reveal it all, all right? And it's gonna be a victory. So overall, this energy is a very beautiful energy coming in for you. I do wanna pull a little clarity over the king of swords. The Knight of Cups. Someone is going to be bringing you some information that is going to tip those scales. Stand in your power. Whoever is going through like a court case as far as like family court or something like that, it is going to rule in your favor. 
you might be getting um, more in child support. We'll check in your money read. And it's going to work out. The hermit, they're telling you stay quiet. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Do not worry about it because you got a new beginning coming through with that move. And it is hot and fresh. Okay, little Caesar, sit down. All right, you're hot and fresh, Aries. Calm down. You have a whole new path opening up for you. And it's going to be beautiful. All right. Stand in your faith and do not let things get to you. Let's jump into our beautiful singles and ready to mingle. Let's see, what do our singles need to know? What do our singles need to know? What do they need to know? We got a good, good, good gold digger. I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no what? Okay. We got some challenges up ahead. Okay, what's going on, my singles? And the next one is, so get ready for a date night. I think this is going to be important for you to keep your options open, okay? And you need more information. Just, like, kind of keep your options open. So not everybody's dealing with a gold digger, okay? Not everybody. But for those who are wondering, there's your confirmation. Okay, what is what, what is this energy here with this gold digger, a backstabber? Okay, so this person is all about the money. They all they want to, you know, like get in your good graces for money just to Okay? We got to watch what we say on here because I, I can't even monetize my videos anymore. Like, what the heck? Uh, challenges. The challenges is because you have a lot of options because you're hella fine, Aries. You look good. Um, this is like too many options. Be careful. You don't want to get strung along. And then the date night said, get wine dined and... Get the sabes, okay? Because you're healing that heartbreak. You're going to put yourself back out there. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to be having fun. And caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself because there's a little bit of the confidence that is lacking. And sometimes you feel like it's not enough or you're not enough. Baby, you are more than enough. Aries, I'm just telling you, you are more than enough, okay? So let's get into your monthly and let's see what's going on. Okay, let's see. Bless these cards. Shows this energy for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Woo! Venus! What? Venus said, show me the money. Show me the money. They want to know everything, right? Everything, Aries. <sighs> let's see. I can't breathe. Okay. Free yourself. Okay, the Eight of Swords is a symbolic energy of probably being tied to something that's not good to you, whether it's negative self-talk or living in the past. It's time to set yourself free, baby, because the Wheel of Fortune has shown up and it's time to go, all right? And you are very much focused on your family this month and what you want, what you desire. You're like, look, I am the full damn dirty package right here. You see this? This is all that and then some, okay? Double ten. Get ready for some work, all right? Work is going to open up for you. The Eight of Pentacles, you're really working on things. You're developing new skills, and you're trusting your intuition this month. You're going to really focus on that inner voice, okay? And the overall energy is the Four of Cups, and that could be tied to the backstabber. Okay? So... That backstabbing energy, I'm not going to act like it doesn't hurt or it doesn't like change the way you see things or how you look at things. But some people's roles, unfortunately, in our lives, they really absolutely suck, right? But now you're able to recognize these things and you're not going to go through them again, okay? Eight of Swords, what do you have for them? The Three of Cups, and they're having a very good time. Muy bueno, okay? So you need to free yourself from situations that make you feel like you're just the extra person, you're the friend with benefits, that kind of thing. We're going to release ourselves from that. And the wheel said, look, put yourself first as the emperor, okay? And I'm covering things up because in YouTube has been ridiculous with the monetization and everything. And, like, you can't show anything or say anything on here. My gosh. And then before you know it, you get that message. <coughs> That says they're going to take your channel away. Okay. Anyways, the emperor is showing up here. This energy is telling you, you have got to start knowing who you are. Know your worth. Okay. Know your worth. King of Pentacles. Okay. You're going to go after your someone who is of equal value to you. No longer going low. Okay. Ten of Cups with the Magician. You're making that magic happen. You're like, no, I really am the full package. I'm really moving forward. And I want these good things in my life. 
Now, this Eight of Pentacles wants you to work on healing with the star. Okay, maybe you like candle wax. I don't know. But, baby, this is some serious sexual healing. Okay? So, this healing is definitely we've got to start having more of a connection with yourself. And the double high priestess, whatever it is that you're asking, you already know. Because when the high priestess shows up. She knows. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces, but there's this energy of you already know, baby, and it could possibly be a water sign, Queen of Cups. So this is also about you, Aries, tapping into your intuition this month and receiving. Okay? High Priestess, what does she want you to know? Show them the door, Four of Cups. You got the double Four of Cups. You got to tell somebody to go. You got to tell him, you're not welcome here anymore, okay? Here, I got to cover the schnitties, okay? Double wheel, time's up. The energy says, vete al carajo. And I'm going to hide his rutabaga like this so it doesn't look like anything. There it is. You're going to tell that it's got to go, you know, because we are definitely, and you could be dealing with somebody who has like a little bit of mood disorder, and to put it lightly, almost like, Hot and then cold. It's yes and it's no. You don't know where you stand in this situation. You're going to release. You're going to open up the situation. You're going to be open to new things. Because this individual that, that backstabbed you or did this to you in the past, they don't have uh, room to stand with you anymore. Pay attention to the 17th. Pay attention to the 10th and the 11th also. Okay? Very interesting, very beautiful energy. I think this is a month of you really releasing the past. And and it's and look, look, she's not really excited about having to let it go, but she knows that she has to and she has to move forward. Okay? She, if she wants to know what it's like to feel love and that's the big decision. Anybody who makes you feel like you're not enough, that's like a personal thing. And so if their behaviors are making you feel like maybe you're not that high on their priority list, then what you do is you go put your yourself higher on your priority list and you go do what you want to do okay because ain't nobody got time to be begging for crumbs okay we're not begging for crumbs so this person from the past that you're possibly a little worried about you want to know what they're thinking i'll check on them real quick okay aries person from the past what are they thinking they're gossiping about you. They're afraid of what other people will think of them, too. They are overwhelmed from the stress. It's draining them. And they wanted equal give and take, but you were a little too good for them. And they really miss you. They're reminiscing. They think about you constantly, okay? They actually miss your sense of humor. It says I miss our inside jokes. I miss you. I wish you were here. I really do care, even though I don't show her. Show her. Show it, okay? And... No one will ever compare to you, and I need to tell you the truth, and that goes back to that confession. The confession is that you could be dealing with someone who is unable to love you at the level that you were loving them, and it had nothing to do with you, but it was more like a projection of that energy, okay? Doesn't mean that it makes it okay, okay? It don't, it don't mean it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. All right. Let's see who's coming in new for you. How do they look? Mm, my allergies. How do they look? Let's see. We got a Leo, possibly. Fair-skinned, young-looking. May look younger than what they really are. Innocent, petite. We got cancer. We got body shape like a dancer. Okay, tall, slim, sexy. Ew. Okay, we got the clouds. Gray hair, two-tone hair, blue-green eyes. Pisces. Some Pisces is coming through. And we've got the mice, okay? Thin hair, petite, small teeth. Um, kind of gets nervous around you. Libra energy. Okay. More clues on this individual coming through. The 13th could be very important for you. And the 23rd, okay? 13, 23. Oh, I can't, I can't. I gotta read that later. I don't like when my writing is messy. So... 
44 Scorpio energy so I get strong Leo Scorpio vibes so maybe like their Sun is in Leo or their moon is in Leo and Sun or moon is in Scorpio but this person is a fixed sign this person is very fixated on you and they want to protect you okay they dress well okay they're very they're a very sharp dresser and they fidget around you they get very very nervous and don't let their anxiety uh, like, there are a way that they show anxiety is almost like over, like, I, oh, well, I got this, don't worry about it. I got it, I got it. They ain't got it. They ain't got it. They're nervous. <laughs> They're nervous as hell. And this will be an online connection, possibly. They are going to be messaging you a lot. Okay, hashtag this, hashtag that. They really enjoy your company, okay? They really like you, Aries. They really like you, and you're really going to like them. But it's almost like you're kind of confused because they're, they're, they act like they got everything under control, and then they get around you, and they lose control, and you're like, what, and Aries? It's because you're sexy, okay? I'm going to just give you a few oracle, and then I'm going to move forward to the couples. Okay, we do have a storm coming in, so that is a little bit of, like, the challenges that you might be facing. About a lot of people very envious because you look really good this month, but you are definitely focused on your family. There's nothing that can deter you from that, and your finances are going to improve. Okay, and there's someone who is, like, jealous. Maybe they're a member of your family. I don't know. That's pretty stupid, but whatever. People have jealousy for weird reasons, okay? Like, why does everything come so easy to you? And little do they know how hard you work and everything you do anyways that's people for you right let's go into our couples so these are people who are married people who are dating people who actually know each other okay let's see what we got what do we got we have our first one it's a yes Ew. A yes give me a read okay there's a commitment and we got to give it time, baby. Okay, slow down a little bit, Aries. You'll be going all fast because you are just in a love and so are they. This is a beautiful love affair. This is like two people who are connecting, really enjoying each other. It says, yes, luck is on your side. Look, commitment and engagement. Somebody is going to the next level in a relationship, okay? A yes, there is love, Cupid's arrow. It says, give it time, why? Because you're soulmates. <laughs> and love, this is like the best, okay? No tarot, let's stop right here, right? So the love spell with love, I feel like couples, you guys are really happy. Some of y'all could be planning a wedding in the winter. Do, do, you're just doing the most, y'all are just so cute. Definitely engagement coming in, a higher commitment, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy. I love it. I don't even want to pull these cards. I'm scared. Okay, they're like, I'm going to work for you, baby. It's the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to do whatever I got to do to do it for you. Your partner is feeling you, okay? They're thinking about children. They're thinking about, oh, my gosh, I can't wait to show our wedding pictures off. I can't wait to tell my mama about you. Aries, woo! And then, what do they think about Aries? Six of Pentacles. They, you know what it is about you, Aries? My dad's an Aries, and um, I think Aries dads are like some of the most fun people in the world. Like, they're such a kid at heart. They're so exciting. My dad always had my back, always has my back, right? Even when I like screwed up really bad, he was always like, don't worry, Miha, we're going to get through this. You're going to be okay. Nobody, don't, nobody who's going to hurt you. We're going to be all right. We're going to make it, okay? Even when he knew I was really bad, I was really messing up. Anyways, you always have my back. So they love that. They love how nurturing you are and how giving you are. You are, they, they oh my God, this person is in love with you. <sighs> it's fate. This is like y'all were meant to be together. And look, they're, I'm carrying my love with you, for you. Where's your straight, okay? And overall, baby, it's going to be a quick decision. Let's get married, okay? We ain't getting no younger. We might as well do this jagged edge. Hello, OMG. This is beautiful, beautiful energy right here. Couples. Wow. The lovers, the wheel. Woo! Commitment, marriage. Whoa. Eight of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. They're ready to cut off that singlehood. They're ready to move forward, okay? They have chosen you with the Knight of Cups. 
they want to grow old with you seven of pentacles the lovers with the nine of swords they want to take those burdens they want to move in double nine can we live together like can we can i move in can we be together can we get married <laughs> there's gonna be a trip there's a trip coming up and that's that's gonna be a decision for you like they're gonna be like look i want to spend my life with you and oh my gosh king of cups says please don't leave eight of cups please don't leave you know they're afraid of this three of swords energy okay they're afraid i don't know if one of y'all are going to go on a business trip or something but they're so nervous about it okay so they, they they're like look let's let's get married before let's do it before you go don't leave don't leave don't go okay don't leave me hanging and they see you as the queen of swords sometimes because you're still just like okay <laughs> aries they're going crazy for you they're like madly deeply in love with you and i'm gonna leave it like that I'm not pulling anymore. Look, they love you. They want to keep this relationship going. And if this is not your read, like let's say you're not having this like copacetic relationship, then you might need a personal reading, okay? For the general collective, it's looking pretty damn good. Engagement rings, commitment card, soulmates. Wow. Love spell. Like, my God, this is beautiful. Okay, let's see here. Let's just see any hidden messages, anything they need to be aware of this month that we have not seen. We have the stars, peaceful uh, situation, peaceful information is coming in, an invitation, something you did not see coming, and it's going to be lucky, okay? And here's the gentleman. So this is either you or your partner, okay? Spreading this peace and joy. A moonlight invitation that changes, an invitation out of nowhere changes your luck. Whew! Done. We're done, done. Done, 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 done. Aries, a beautiful read. Oh, that card's not supposed to be there. Let's get you out of there. Okay. I'm carrying my love with you. Mm -mm. I'm got all the words wrong over here. We're healing. We got our love out there. People are so jealous right now of you, Aries. You are living the life. You're definitely doing a lot of healing. And you're thinking, you're like thinking, what, what, how did this happen? And it's because you healed your heart. You worked on your love. You worked on loving yourself more. People are envious of that. People are just like, how, how can Aries be so lucky? How, how? And it's because Aries, you took the time. You've been going through a lot with the North and the South Nodes and Aries and Libra. And you know what? You did the work and you did great. And congratulations. It's going to be a beautiful month. All right. Love looks good. I'm going to say getting married soulmates. And you know what's so cute on that, that lover's card? It has the, um, the parrots. And that is significant. You know who has parrots as their animal? Sagittarius. I was like, what? Sagittarius is going to get us a great read. I already pulled their oracle cards. But yes, they're going to have a great read. Okay, this is Aries to Pisces. So immediately we have you facing your fears and you're not going into conflict about it. You're just facing them head on. Like you're like, okay, look, I don't know what happened this summer, but I'm ready for the winter. Okay, because winter going to be good. You could also be seeing the number 555. That like really stuck out in my head right now when I saw the five of wands reverse, the five of forces. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let, I think that's it. That is it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Aries, you are filling yourself. You're the queen of wands. Okay. And the other Aries is not sure. Seven of cups. They're like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. We can't do this. I don't know. So there might be a knockdown drag out. Okay. Might be. And the 15th could be important for you. Okay. Hold on. Is it my baby? Okay. Here you are as the hangman, Aries, and Taurus is seeing all the wrong, all the red flags. The solution is stand your ground and get out of your head. If you do not like the things that are going on with Taurus, don't pick up those red flags to create a sweater because it's going to be cold. We don't need that sweater, okay? It's not sweater weather yet, okay? You are standing on business with a nine of pentacles. You, you do really well by yourself, and Gemini sees you as so strong, and you love Gemini's strength. The solution is 
<laughs> let's do this, okay? Let's release the fears. I feel like you and Gemini maybe have uh, this fear of losing your singlehood. The sixth could be important. And the 15th. Here you are. You are ready to move forward. You're birthing new things. And Cancer said, can we get married? But we're not sure. The lovers is reversed. I want to say your back is turned to cancer. So I don't know what happened there. But with the lovers reversed, there's a little bit of a betrayal. Somebody feels betrayed. Cancer wants vindication. The 19th could be important. Four of pentacles. You are solid. You're secure. And Leo is so in love with you. They love your kisses, your hugs, all of that good stuff. And the solution is you better go get that Leo. Go get him, okay? Or they're coming to get, no, Leo's coming to get you, okay? Leo is coming to get you. 17th could be important. You're not sure about this new beginning. You feel like it's a false start. Virgo's kind of like wondering if this is going to work. They're also watching everything you do. And I think taking a step back from the situation would be wise. Aries, you're ready to jump all in as the fool. And Libra is might be having some financial issues or saying it's my way or the highway kind of vibe. And I see one of y'all walking away, four of cups reversed. Almost like they're not willing to give things up. The eighth could be important. You are not budging with seven of pentacles. You are spinning your wheels, okay? And Scorpio wants to talk. Like, they're ready to discuss what's going on. We're going to pray about it. We're going to pray. Scorpio's been praying that you might you might um, end up talking to them. What was that? Okay, I was like, wait a minute. That you might talk to them, that you might engage in this conversation with them. They don't know why you are not, why you're being so silent. You're our polar opposites. And we need a lot of grounding in this situation, okay? So get 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 your head right, baby. Get your head right, okay? The third, 19th could be important. Here you are. You feel like there's an ending. You feel like a very solid soulmate with this individual. And Sagittarius has been praying for you. I'm telling you, you might be with a Sag. There might be some family issues going on where you guys can't, you're not sure. Like maybe one person wants kids, one person doesn't. Um, Sagittarius feels like you got a lot of options. They're not sure about this, okay? But they're going to tell you they love you anyway. They're like, I love my Aries. I love Aries. The fourth could be important. They're like, I'm, I'm not giving up. Here you are as the Empress Reverse. You almost feel kind of stuck right now. And Capricorn is being really vindictive, okay? Mm -hmm. And I don't feel that there's peace at home. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like you just feel like y'all are butting heads either with each other or somebody's mother. Okay? The 18th could be important. Here you are, the five of pentacles. Either you said something really foul <laughs> or um, we're having some financial issues. And Aquarius said, we not. this ain't a happy home. We need to stop fighting. And you might be the one seeing the 555, okay? The 8th could be important. Here you are. You don't even want to talk anymore. You don't want to be about it. You don't want to talk about it. You're kind of pretty much done. You have stone walls. You're like, the person you are trying to reach is no longer available. <laughs> Message number 455. Here, dear, dear. Okay? And Pisces, his life fine. F it. I'm done pouring into your cup. The solution is let's take a step back and let's heal. All right. Lucky day, the 13th. Enjoy your month. Invite me to the wedding. I want to cash the bouquet. I want to, I want to, I want to dance. I want to have a great time at your wedding, Aries. I am so happy for you. Congratulations. Have a beautiful month. Stay tuned for the money read. Bye.